Peace and blessings. Peace and blessings, brothers and sisters, man. Uh, peace and blessings, man. We come to you again uh, with another word. Uh, first and foremost, uh, we must give all praises, glory, and honor to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, through His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, um, for allowing this word to come out, man. Um, like I spoke about yesterday in yesterday's word, that I would bring, uh, I would load some um, some food to the channel, uh, which would have been uh, last night, man. But um, I had an exhausting day yesterday. And um, I just thank God, man, I was able to get off work and really relax, man, and um, try to relax my body, rest my body. Um, for a lot of those who don't know, um, been going through a lot lately. You know, I don't speak about it, but I've been going through a lot. Um, I think we all are, so that's why I try to be mindful of that, that I'm, I'm not the only one um, that's going through anything. Um, so, but um, been dealing with some challenges and and uh, things of that nature. Uh, you know that we were, our channel was suspended uh, recently again for um, so-called hate speech, you know. Um, that's another story itself, but um, so I'm doing, I'm just fulfilling the word of my promise yesterday when I said that I would load up some more content and, um, we're going to Lord willing, uh, be having our regular Sabbath service, um, later this afternoon. Um, but, um, what I want to do, man, um, this morning, man, um, what I want to talk about is, is such a spiritual joy, um, having the Lord on speed dial uh, when you need to call. You know, we all have smartphones, cell phones, and we all have um, certain individuals on speed dial. But I'm, I'm, I'm almost sure that most of us don't have the Lord on speed dial. And if you don't, you need to, you know, um, it's, it's, it's such comfort. It's such a beautiful thing, um, to have, the, have the Lord on speed dial, man. You know, in the world that we live in, you know, it's, it's so much, um, it's, it's so much that we're up against. Uh, spiritual warfare is at an all time high. I mean, you got people that's blatantly out to come against anybody that's trying to live according to the Bible. So spiritual warfare um, is at an all time high. Uh, uh, people in high places um, are trying to come against those that's spiritual. Um, enemies are pursuing you at an all time high. Like evil is that evil and hatred is at an all time high, man. And um, you really, really got to be in position to handle that. A need for prayer is at an all-time high. Okay? You should pray every day, but it's, it's almost uh, necessary. Um, prayer is, 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 is necessary today. You know? Um, mental stability is necessary today. You know, with 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 all um, with all the things that's happening uh, in life right now, man, um, your mental stability is going to be your meal ticket, man. That's going to be your mental health lifeline, your mental health. Um, um, what can I put it? That's that's kind of that's going to be your your calling card mental stability is your calling card in in, in in today's time with everything that's happening man yeah and another thing that i want to speak on is that when everything else go like life has its moments where like i say you feel like everything is up against you you just can't win when you at that when you at that point, man, don't call nine one one. Don't panic. 
just hit the Lord on speed dial. And he will take it from there. Now, I will say this. You have to be a law, a, a spiritual law abiding citizen. First and foremost, you have to fear the Lord. OK, you have to be operating in obedience. You don't have to be perfect. OK, you don't have to be sinless. But you have to you have to be on the right hand side of things. You can't be out here terrorizing people doing satan's work bidding for satan and then when when the all when the walls close in on you now you want to call on the lord don't even bother speed dialing them okay you can try but don't be surprised you you speed dial them and, and, and it, it don't it don't even the call fail okay don't be surprised if the call fail but if you you know a God-fearing, spiritual, law-abiding citizen trying to live the best as you can according to the Bible and all these things of life come against you, um, the attacks and the harassment, all these things, the, vexa the vexation of spirit, all of these things that you may encounter and you and you decide to exercise that that option of um, calling the Lord on speed dial. You're gonna be in good shape, man. Uh, I got two scriptures I want to speak on, man. As we close out this word, man, that's in Psalms 90, 91 verse fifteen, and it reads, "He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble." I will deliver him and honor him. See that? See that? That's why it's such a spiritual joy having the access to call, call on the Lord speed dial. Why? Because again, it's four things I want to touch on in Psalms 91.15. The first thing it says is, he shall call upon me. And I will answer. So you see that the Lord is saying right away, he shall call up on me and I will answer. So you call up on the Lord. He's going to answer you, especially speed dial. Listen to that. Call on the Lord speed dial. He's going to answer you. And then it says, not only that, not only is he going to answer the phone, it says, I will be with him in trouble. So when you in trouble, man, the Lord going to be there with you. Okay. You speed dial the Lord, right? He's going to answer. Once you state that you're in trouble, guess what? The Lord is going to be with you. Then it says, I will deliver him. So the Lord going to deliver you out of all those life troubles and attacks and all those things that's coming up against you. The Lord going to deliver you from that. And then he's going to honor you. That was the luxury, that was the luxury, the spiritual luxury uh, uh, King David had. So, you know, whenever King David called, had the Lord on speed dial and he called him up, you already know what time it was. And that's where we need to be at. We need to be in that position. And, 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 um, in Jeremiah 33 and three, it says, call to me and I will answer you. And will tell you great and hidden things that you have not known. You see that? So that's just extra right there. That's just extra. That's extra. You can't beat that. But I love, we're going to close it out in Isaiah 65 and um, 24. We're going to close it out in Isaiah 65, 24. And it reads, before they call, I will answer. While they are yet speaking, I will hear. Listen to that, man. Listen to that. Let me say it again. Before, Isaiah 65, 24. Before they call, I will answer. So before you even attempt to speed dial the Lord, he already attentive to what's happening with you. 
It says, while they are yet speaking, I will hear. So before you even began to uh, tell the Lord and expound with the Lord and sup with the Lord, what's going on? He already got the intel on it. Come on, man. That's that's where we need to be at spiritually. That's that's where we need to be at spiritually, man. So again, what's the name of the word? What a spiritual joy it is having the Lord on speed dial when you need to call, man. I hope you sincere brothers uh, were edified by this quick message. We give all praises, glory, and honor to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, through His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, uh, for allowing this word to come out, man. And hey, listen, stay tuned. Lord willing, uh, we will be loading up our regular word for the Sabbath today. And um, it's going to be electrifying. It's going to be edifying. It's going to be entertaining. And I hope somebody is truly edified, man. We give all praises, glory, and honor to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, through His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, um, for allowing this word to come out. Shalom.